Hello everyone. She wake up mid and gun mid a town mid a heat. Pull up in a drop. Everyone's good. Wow, that's crazy. Thank you everyone. I've got like 60 subscriber. It's oh sorry. Let me introduce you. I was too fast. <laughs> it's Le Pickle Rick. Uh for everyone. I think everyone don't know me. <laughs> uh it's Le Pickle Rick and I want uh, today maybe it's, it's a video a little more different than uh the other day because I'm going to show you my shoe collection. Yeah, I think you see it in the title of the video. It's kind of all my sneakers because yeah, basically only sneakers, only one CD shoe. Let's go for today the basis. Oh, oh I can barely hear the music for the first one. Mm, these are really beaten. It's been like five years after them. But I still wear them a lot to go to the basketball training. This is some blue Lunar Force One. So it's Air Force One, but Lunar because the the soil is like this. The, oh, I don't know what you call this part. If you know it, please tell me in the comment. No, it's not really like it's like Air Force One. Yeah, these are really billion to death, but still, I think Air Force One don't look like, but it's one of the most comfort comfortable pair. So. I really needed a new Air Force One, so this is the blue, the Lunar Force One. I really need a, needed a new Air Force One uh, since like five years to replace this one, even if I still wear them. So I buy it a new pair, and they are here. Bro, okay. oh. you see it's in the wrong box. This is the Kyrie Irving shoes, but anyway. Here we go, my new Air Force One. Down. Yeah, this is straight fire. I bought them online. You can see the details. It's crazy. Crazy. There's some Chinese stuff. And I really like them. I take them every day. And... Bam! They are not only plain white, they are like some details, and I like it. <laughs> I have some Ariana Grande in the background. <laughs> okay, okay, let's skip to. Let's skip to Nike? Nike? Nike. You say, I know you said Nike. Uh, it's only in French that we say Nike. So, this, I like it. The Air Max one, uh, G1. This color is green something. I really like them. You know, it goes with my Boston Celtic jacket. And we have Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum in the All Star. Mm, I like them. Really love them. Yeah, so we are still in my everyday uh, shoes, so I wear them every day. Oh, I put this one in my everyday, but it's not really... Oh, everyday one is smooth, it's only like uh, city shoes. And I put them all the everyday for my internship uh, last year, so they stink a little maybe. <laughs> should buy a new pair of city. I want maybe something in... Oh! You know the brown, I don't know, the, ah, the leather, leather. Okay, let's go to Adidas now, for my everyday. Maybe you recognize the box, it's Boost Box. And these are the Ultra Boost. <laughs> the Ultra Boost, I got them for last Christmas. Um, uh, 2018 so I found them on uh, you see it's still pretty white I took care of them because I don't want to really to dirt them but I got them for a real fair price I got them for 100 euro on a running website so I think it's really good price for some ultra boost and really comfort you know see the boost don't want to shield the soil it's dirty yeah. <laughs> Some music in the background. Shit. <laughs> it's 
It's a sneaker video, not a reaction video. Yeah. Wait, Metro Games. For those who don't know, go listen. French rap, Metro Games. French rap. All the French people in this video. Ah, Metro Games. But face. So, another. Oh, I love this one. It's. Nowadays, it's the one I put like really nearly every day. And yeah, nearly every day, this one. It's the triple black uh, Air Zoom Spirit Dome. Oh, yeah. Maybe you want me to say the price for all the shoes, but I don't remember. But this one were like the troubles around 100 at the time, 110 maybe. Put them, I think, three years ago. And the good part is. I don't know if you see this. This port, this port, and this and the lace. If you took a photo in the night with the flash, it's a 3M technology, so it's refreshes and then it's very nice. Maybe I'm going to put you a picture in the editing. So, and I really like the touch of red in the Nike in the front there. Really like them. Put them every day nowadays. And the last pair of my everyday badges. Oula! Sorry, I went to trip uh, this summer with them, so they're really dirty. And I barely put them on you when I'm at the beach because I don't. I'm not really a fan of the sand. When I put sand in my and my put my flip flop bags, Ugh, I don't like it. So I put some shoes to the beach. Yeah. Oh, you put some shoes to the beach? You're crazy. Yeah. But these are the Nike sock dart, so it's. Even easier than, maybe not easier than flip flops, but it's really easy to put. Shlup, you put and you have one feet in, one feet too. Not really beautiful, um, but on the feet it's okay, I seem to go to the beach. So it's my everyday when I'm on holidays. Don't really wear this in winter, because it's, it's freaking cold. Let's begin with basketball maybe. Oh, okay, this one on my all. Mm, I'm going to show you. When, I, when it comes to basketball, I always try to put like, to a really different kind of shoes, like really something full of color, everything, I don't know. In basketball, I always like uh, to buy crazy shoes and to put really a lot of color or something fun. And you will see it's really the most beaten shoes on my basketball shoes. This is the, this were the Derrick Rose 3. Can you see the laces? I don't wear this anymore because the lace are really broke. I should buy another pair of lace. Oh. Really like them. I love them. It looks like a spider, maybe. D Rose 3. I bought them. Actually, I bought them when I went to the US for my family. Like in uh, six years, first seven, six years ago. <coughs> this were the Derrick Rose 3. 3 or 4, I don't know. Okay. This, I told you, I'm really. You are going to see a lot of color in my sports shoes. <laughs> These are my. Kyrie one uh, edition 4th of July if I don't make any mistake. I really love them and I beat them, you can see. Oh, it's dead. Mm, even for them I wear them on the outside to play outside now. Because for inside that with this the anchor it's not really safe. And I don't want to sprain my ankle like the typical basketball injury. I love the detail, I really like this and this looks like sharp teeth. I love the curry one and I as I love the curry one I really wanted to stay with the curries because I think they were really good. Uh it'll break in the curries. Let's show you a tennis shoe. Bam! I don't know the name, but I bought this this summer and it was in say like 50 euros. And I fell in love with the color. I think it's Miami edition or something. Because I played a lot this summer, so I bought this this summer to play with friends. I love the color. I think it's fair price, 50. And I wear it actually to do all of the other sports. If I want to do bicycle or stuff, I would wear this. And I think you can also wear this as just a sneaker. Because it's nice. Um, oh, I think I forgot one pair in my room. Anyway, it was the Kyrie 3 grey. It's not the most beautiful and they're really beaten, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you my new Kyrie. Let's go to the football now. Football or soccer for our American friend. But let's keep with the football. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 
Nike Tempo put in laser. Sorry from the kangaroos. <laughs> I'm joking. Or maybe I think it's really in kangaroo laser, but most of the football shoes are in kangaroo laser, I think. But this is for the synthetic uh, soil, not for the grass. You know, fake grass with some uh, wire um, stuff, wheel stuff. So, tempo. Oula! It's some chocolate. <laughs> I should go with this. I think it's more def defender uh, uh, shoes type, but I should go with this. Anyway, let's go to my new basketball shoe! I really like the logo, look like Illuminati or something. And as you can see, it's the Kyrie 5. They are new, but they have like one year, but I didn't wear them because there was a Kyrie were good. These are okay. brand new Kyrie 5. Mm. Wow, they smell new. Brand new Kyrie 5. Uh, I will call them Galaxy, I don't remember. I think also 120 or 110. The logo there. I really love them. Ah. Mm. These are really beautiful. Can't wait to try them. I think I'm going to try them next week at the train. Hey, <laughs> Kari! Five! But now, the moment everyone wait for it, or I wait for it the most, to show you the most exclusive shoes in my sneaker closet, which are not too easy because are um, are not um, hard for it because I can't spend that much money. Not because I don't want to spend that much money in shoes, but because I don't have that much money <laughs> to spend now on a student. So, when I say exclusive, maybe it's more exclusive to me than to the... It's not like the easy uh, 350 or shoes that get sold out directly. It's something really exclusive to me that I don't wear often because I found them really nice and beautiful. And I really want to keep them clean as long as possible, but... I don't, wear, or don't also wear often because sometimes it's complicated to wear them with clothes. So first, mm, let's go with Nike. Oh, I'll go from the least exclusive, from my list to the most. Or maybe, no, yeah, to the most. And the two last will be some shoes I can't wear anymore because I got them when I was a kid. And I'm really attached to them and I don't want to leave them. Oh, first one. I don't know the name actually. Those who I, I'm sure you never saw them anywhere. Hey, hey. Some Nike. Uh, I think it was inspired by the Mercurial, which are some football shows that uh, Ronaldo got in the World Cup of 1998. And they made shoes like uh, for the Euro football in 2016 about from the Mercurial. So these are really light. It's perfect shoes for summer. Maybe it looks like a sign <laughs> on the street, but I like them with the air bubble. And all the details are crazy. And this, this, the little languette, I don't know how to call this in English. It's really light, you see, there is holes in the languette. It's really like a breathing shoot, so if you stink from the feet, good one. So I like them, I wear them a little bit, but not too much in good condition okay let's get to the next one next one first one which is not adidas or nike because i got really not like it. it's i don't know if you know this brand it's french brand it's le coq sportif le coq sportif Bim! Bim! sorry i get crazy because i eat some sneaker sneakers chocolate get me crazy <laughs> Mm, okay. Hey, hey, here are the beauty. Nothing. 
I really like the purple color. It's called uh, Le Coq Sportif LCS Air 800 Mineral. So, stupid name, but really nice. Really nice shoes and really comfortable. Bam. You have the mineral here behind you, each of the shoes. Even the soil is in mineral, you know. Okay, take it for you. It's some mineral, you see. It's really nice. I love them, and I also I bought them in sale. A lot of my shoes I bought them in sale. I mean, I don't know this one. Nobody buy them, but I bought them in sale. It was like 80 euros, something like this. But I love the color. The color is crazy. Maybe that. black and purple. I think it fits perfectly. Yeah, yeah. This are. I really like the end. What is good is that I put the purple laces, but they also give you some black laces. And picture of a little girl. And they ask, they say, mistake oh, I buy it with Titolo. It's a shop, a Swiss shop of a sneaker. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> mm. Still have this. Don't need this anymore. <laughs> okay, now let's get to something more exclusive. Mm. Okay, okay, something that I found back. Like uh, it's crazy actually. When I, I was cleaning my room, you know, last week that uh, one famous basketball player passed away, and I was cleaning my room like two weeks ago, and I found back these shoes in my closet that I really. I don't forget about, but I didn't know where they are. And it's actually the basketball shoes I used whoa, 10 years or 8 years ago. It's the Kobe. Kobe brand, yeah. You see this logo? I don't know what the name of this one. Kobe 6, Kobe 4, I don't know. And it was number 24 at the time also when I bought it. Oh, you have the 24 here. The Black Mamba normally was there, I think, but. And it's snake skin. Love them. They are little bit, you know, because I saw. And it's the first. I actually asked. They are not that bit for my basketball shoes because it's the first shoes where I get injured with. I sprained my right ankle. This one. So after us, I, I, I decided I stop uh, using Kobe shoes. <laughs> and actually, I was for Boston also. So. But I really love them. I, I remember I bought them in Germany. I think I really love them. They look fire! I wish, I wish I had still my baby feet. It was like 41, and now I'm 44, so it's no possible. Hmm. Really nice shoes, exclusive for my heart. Because uh, Kobe passed away, which is that's it, really sad, and it affect me. And it's the first shoes I get injured, and I play, I beat them in basketballs. Of them. Next one related to basketball also, but not basketball. Oh. You can play basketball, but now it's became a sneaker or everyday shoe. It's the you will see the ones. Maybe we recognize. We get into really exclusive shoe of my closet, the Jordan. This is the factor. The Jordan. Ta -na -na -ta -na. Concord. Bam. 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 This is way heavier. Oh yeah, the Concord. I love them. I wear them like 10 times, not a lot. I got them last year. They get the 45, the number that Michael Jordan took back after the his dad uh, passed away and he do his uh, he stopped basketball and then he came back to competition. These are really good quality laser. It's not laser, I don't know what it is, but oh, I love them. I really love these shoes and when I knew that they were going to go out, it's been like, I knew one year ago and uh, I really, I was in the website, refresh, refresh and I got them and but I think it's, it didn't go sold out really fast because there were a lot but maybe in hours, you know, one hour, but I, got, I was there like five minutes before I was refresh, refresh and then I got them, I was like, yes! And they are here, the Jordan 11 Concord, you know, I can take some calls with this. Hello? 
Yeah, Michael? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, it's Lepi Kerwick. How are you doing, Michael? Good? Oh yeah, me too, good. <laughs> mm, for those who know it, Chucky only you did this in the All-Star game. I don't... Fuck this. Oh, maybe I should not say some word like this. I will be at the editing. Uh, but these shoes are really huge. Crazy. Love them. Really exquisite. And this is part of my top three. It's number three on my top three. Mm, maybe it's number two because the number one is even. I can show you the number one. Let's say, let's say number, number three is better. Now get, let's get to number two. Okay, Google. Next. The song was shit. Jordan. Number two. Ta-da! Some Air Max. As you can see, old box. Bam. I really doubt that you see this before, seen this before, or maybe I should not talk to people I don't know anyone. <laughs> but it was the in 2015 they dropped the shoes for the anniversary of the Air Max 95 and I really love the Air Max 95 I wanted to get the year before the Air Max 95 X with uh, the collaboration with Stussy the blue one but I, I didn't get the chance to buy it and after the year after uh, in the 2015 they were the re-edition of the, the Air, they dropped Air Max for the anniversary Air Max 95 and I dropped them immediately these are crazy! Look, this is straight fire on the feet. And they make this, I think they make this with laser, all the details. You see there is the Nike sign there. This is called... I don't know the number there. I don't know, Platinum 950. I think it's this. I like the also this. All the details are crazy on this shoes, and this is also fire. This is crazy. So I read them quite a lot, but they are still in really good condition. I really have to admit, it's not the most comfortable shoes of my collection because this is really thin and some. It's not really soft, you know? But this is fire. It was a half a day to work, work on this. These are fire. These are straight fire. These are fire. Boom! Air Max 95. Anniversary. So it's called Quick Strike. I don't know what it means Quick Strike actually in the sneaker. If you know, send me comments. Oh, if you want to rate my shoes, uh, can you you can comment like uh, the one you like the most. And I, will, I will look at all the comments as usual. Le Picaric always look his comments. Because I don't have a lot of comments. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Ah, and let's go to the first shoes, which have, I think, more symbolic to me than to anyone. Because I'm, I think you don't know this shoe, so it's not. It was really back in the day. So. Oh, I wish I still had the price. I don't know. This is not the price. Forty-one. No, it can't be 41 because it's Air Force One. It was size 40. I was like 10, 11. And you can see it's Jordan, the whole box of Jordan. Jordan. And it was actually my first basketball shoes. I bought them on the Foot Locker of Rivoli in Paris. And just, I really didn't know anything about sneaker or by basketball. But I, I just love these shoes. I didn't know it was Jordan. I didn't know who was Jordan. I began in basket. It's, no, it's been actually like two years I was beginning in basketball and I really wanted a good pair, beautiful. And this was the Jordan 1 K54 edition. This is crazy. Well, they are really beaten, but... You can see the K54. It's a street competition in Paris, just near the Eiffel Tower. Every year there is one K54 uh, tournament and this one, <laughs> I still have the original bag of Foot Locker inside and 
I'm not a buyer of Basque but I don't know what it is. This for crazy, it's called K54, you see here, and rough and tough. And you see that my mom put my name there, <laughs> because <laughs> well, I went to a basketball camp when I was like 12, <laughs> so she, put, she used to put my uh, name on my clothes. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Oh, this, I love them, you see? And I, yesterday I was uh, curious about this shoe, so I went on uh, online to see how it is, and I saw that some of them in good condition, so not like this, they can be sell like 700 euros. So I was like, oh la la. But I don't know, I'll probably buy them under 100 euros at the time, or maybe 100. Or my mother bought me because I was old. Yeah, this one are really old. I will say 2009. Something like this. But I love them. And they symbolize a lot. It's my first basketball shoes. And actually, uh, one, at one of our basketball game, I was wearing this. And they took a picture of me. It was no, it's not a really high level, but and I was in the front page of the um, newspaper of my city. My city is Boulogne Biancourt. It's quite a big city. It's like hundred thousand people living there, and I was really proud. And this is on the. This was my shoes. I wore. You can see the Air Jordan, really beaten, but when you touch the other shoe, you know it's a raise. Love them. Oula. Anyway, we're going to. I'm going to leave you with this pair of shoes. Wow, it's been like 30 minutes of speaking. If you are still here, I'm happy and I want to thank you and love you guys. Really, I love you and thank you for all the love you send me. All the comments are, are perfect and beautiful. And I'm, I don't know when this video will be out, but I will probably do also a reaction of Thai music you submit me. And uh, also I saw some Malaysian, so if you have idea of other country, of other type of music or rap or in other countries, submit it in the comments. So tell me what you think about my shoe collection in the comment or so. Uh, I love to share it with you. Uh, it's not like uh, maybe some uh, fancy shoes, like I don't have a little bit more easy, but it's the shoes I like and... Uh, it's yeah. I just wanted to share my shoes. It's like this. I don't know why. And maybe I like it because maybe in 20 years I will look at it with my child. Oh, you see, it's me, your father. Look at my shoes. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you guys for everything, for staying there and be there. And uh, I can't wait to see you. It was Le Picker Rick, and uh, love you guys. Thank you for all the likes and the comment. I really can't realize it's only my third. On my first video, I got 3,000 views on like two in two weeks. Crazy! Thank you for everything. It was Le Picker Rick, and.